Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and in today's video I'm going to show you some information about chalk lines. So chalk lines almost a primitive tool. I mean it's been around forever. I don't mean we don't use it anymore but it's it's one of those things that has been in the construction uh, industry forever uh, because they're pretty versatile in uh, marking lines and and uh, marking especially long lines accurately. So Basically a chalk line is a canister with a roll of line inside of it filled with chalk. Um, with chalk lines, they pretty much all just have a little door somewhere on it. And then you just buy a bottle of chalk oops, and fill them up with chalk whenever they need it sort of thing. If you've got a brand new chalk line right from the start, what I like to do is uh, put a little bit of chalk in. So take it out of the package, open the window up, put a bit of chalk in. Don't like over overfill it. Close it up and then hook it onto something and just start walking away and kind of rolling it out so it's unspooling. Um, you'll start to notice that the chalk at some point gets, uh, you know, like the, the line will be white again. There's no chalk on it. Stop, put a little bit of chalk in it again. Keep walking out. Just kind of keep doing that so you kind of get the whole line coated to start with. And then when you've got the line, you know, most of your line out, like I don't know, whatever you buy them, they might be 50 feet long or 100 feet long or whatever. You don't have to go over the whole 100 feet. Just go out about three quarters of the distance that the chalk line is. Once you've done that and you've filled it up periodically, periodically a little bit and you kind of get out to as far as you want to, fill it up again. Don't fill it up, I shouldn't say that. Put some chalk in it so it's say half full of chalk because remember you're going to coil all that string back up into there again you need room for it. Probably even a quarter full with chalk would be good. Close it up and then just reel it all back in. And by doing that on, when you first get your chalk line it's going to get good amount of chalk in all your line and uh, make sure it's well coated to, uh, so that you aren't you know in the middle of a job and you pull it out and all, all of a sudden you've got some line that doesn't have any chalk on it. Okay, so, so that's kind of what I like to do to get a chalk line started with. Uh, as far as the chalk goes, there's, uh, well, there's a number of different colors, but there's going to be some colors that are definitely more permanent than others. So if you're doing a bunch of layout, uh, you know, for the, on a floor of your house or floor of your garage or whatever, and it doesn't matter that that line might not ever wash off and you want it good and visible, I would use red or black. They're very much pretty permanent and you got to be careful not to get it on you either because you might not get it out. So red and black are, are quite permanent. If you're in another situation where you don't really want that to last forever or maybe you don't want it to last hardly at all, uh, a blue one will eventually fade out, wipe off, wear out. So it's, it's pretty good about disappearing over time. Now I wouldn't put it on your painted drywall wall. Or something like that you know if you're hanging a chair mold or something and you wanted to uh, have a line to go by as a guide didn't have a laser or something you wanted to have a line I would use a white chalk line I don't have my white one here it's uh, surprisingly how visible it is unless you're snapping it on a white surface but it's still visible but yet it just wipes right off and, and isn't permanent at all so for most people you're gonna find a lot of people have blue uh, a lot of Construction guys are going to have red and blue or black and blue. They'll be kind of their main couple of colors that they want to use. Okay, so the basic way the chalk line works is, like I said, you've got a, a spool of uh, line inside there covered in chalk. You're going to have a bit of it sticking out and it's got a hook on the end so you can hook it on a nail or somebody can hang on to it or hook it on a wall or whatever and you're going to have this crank on the side to spool it back up. So what you want to basically do is go to the end where you want it to start at. You know, you've marked over, maybe you want to snap a line that's whatever, seven inches from the edge of this piece of plywood. Hook it on there. Don't let it touch down on the, on the surface you want to snap yet. Go all the way to the other end, however far you're going. You want to 
did you see as I was pulling out how the crank's moving there? So I usually use my thumb to kind of hold the crank from moving so that I can pull it taunt, pull the line taunt. Um, I would usually have, you know, my other mark down here that I'm trying to line up with. So now I want to try to let this line down as gently as I can and onto this mark so it isn't slapping down in the middle somewhere and leaving a false line that uh, is right beside this one or something. So once you've got it on your mark at both ends, you've got it pulled pretty tightly. You just want to lift it up a couple inches or so and let it go and snap it down. Some people will give it an extra one just to make sure. And it should leave you a nice pretty exact line as long as your string isn't getting too wore out it's a, usually a pretty nice crisp line. Okay now what happens if you're reeling it out I might not have a chalk, enough chalk on here let me let me show you. Like I said walk out and keep it up off the surface because if you're walking out and you're kind of bouncing it around or whatever I don't have a lot of chalk in here but you end up bouncing it around and pretty soon you got all these little marks and lines all over the place and sometimes if they're real close together it's hard to determine which one's the line you want to be following so just keep it up off your work surface. Sometimes if I've got a lot of chalk in here as I'm walking out I'll be kind of walking off to the side of where I want to actually snap it and I'll be kind of tapping this and it just I'm not snapping the line I'm just kind of tapping this thing and it lets the excess chalk fall off and it also lets any chalk that's in here bound up fall onto the line and get used up. So Now to reel it in this one's a little stiff it's getting wore out reeled in you obviously just crank it. Some of them will have a quick release where like on this one you just squeeze it and the crank doesn't turn it just lets some line spool off but most of them are all got a crank of some kind on here and you can you can replace the line because the lines over time eventually just wear out and break you can replace the line if you want. A lot of times these chalk lines are cheap enough that uh, you just buy a whole new chalk line but you can just change the line. Um, this one here and a lot of chalk lines that you get uh, they've got a, a gear system in there that actually makes your cranking faster where a lot of these old ones it's kind of a one-to-one -one ratio and if you got 50 feet of chalk line out there it's a bit of a chore to get it all wound up and uh, where if you get the ones that are geared differently you know it might be pulling in five to one and uh, you can actually reel up the chalk line pretty pretty quickly. I always try to avoid if I'm out on site or something and I've snapped a line, I try to avoid having the line laying down in the dirt and then rolling it up because it just it's hard on the string. You start pulling in grass and dirt and sand and stuff inside too, and it just it just wears the thing out so much quicker. Um, now, if you've got a uh, really long distance to go, like I would say, if you're snapping a line over 20 feet long, you probably want to have somebody give you a hand. So you would uh, pull your string out and you'd walk out your 20 feet. Now I know I'm not at 20 feet but I'm just going to clamp this here as if somebody was holding it 20 feet away for me. Or you could clamp your line down too if, you, if it's possible. So maybe you got 20 feet down you walk out to about the center of it and just just hold the string push it straight down to your work surface and just snap on each side of your finger that's holding this down. On a long distance that'll give you a much better uh, line to follow because if you can imagine if you got a string pulled out 40 feet and you're standing somewhere in the middle snapping that line you gotta lift it so far in the middle so that it's actually lifting off the ends of the surface down at the ends right where here I'm kind of cutting that distance in half and I'm getting a good snap on both sides. Okay so that's just one way to help you snap a really really definite line on a long distance. Um, I don't think there's I don't think there's too much more I can really tell you. Um, that's that's the main use for chalk lines. I, I mean I, I've used mine in a pinch as a string line or whatever just to you know get level or whatever but basically they're made for marking lines so that you can use them as a uh, cutting lines or mark lines for lining stuff up or whatever what have you so most most of the chalk lines you fi will find today now are going to be some kind of plastic this is a little bit older one although I think you can still buy metal ones as well 
it's, it's basically the same idea. It's got the crank that flips out here. This is where you fill it on the back end. So they're all kind of the same. Oh, something else I should just mention. If, if, you're, if your chalk line has a crank, but it doesn't have this button, so that when you're pulling it out, the, the handle isn't turning. If your handle wants to turn all the time, just put your handle straight up. So you can keep your hand out of the way and your fingers out of the way. And while this is pulling out, that handle's just turning vertically like that. Where if it's, oops, if it's stuck down in this position and you're pulling it out and your fingers are in the way or it's catching on your sleeve or whatever. So just kind of put your handle up out of the way if you don't have this speed release right there. I think that's about all I can tell you about chalk lines. Uh, pretty simple tool really, but uh, can be very helpful to do projects or mark lines. So, so thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you like the video and uh, want to help us out a little bit, you can click the old thumbs up icon down below there. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, click the little bell, bell icon after you subscribe if you want to receive notifications anytime that our channel uh, posts something new up or maybe goes and does a live stream. If you click that, it'll notify you, I think by email. And uh, also you can follow us on all our social media. We've got Facebook, Twitter. Um, on our website, we've got the form as well. If you've got any questions about this or any other tool or any project or whatever, you can post your question on the forum and myself or one of the people that are helping will definitely get to you pretty quickly. Um, as well, uh, you'll find a link in the description below for, for all our social media and as well as uh, Patreon if you're interested in leaving a small donation to continue help us continue making these videos. Thanks a lot for watching now and we'll see you in the next one.